welcome to Trigger Therapy 2. Today's objective is to create some nice, relaxing sounds using a few different objects, mainly different glass containers. I have a few small containers, I have some medium sized ones, and I also have some larger ones as well. So inside these containers, we're just going to play with a few different objects. So I have some coffee in here. I have some coffee beans. So this is something that's been requested a number of times, just to play with some coffee beans, just to see what type of sounds I have. So I haven't opened this yet, so we're going to explore this together. Inside here, I have some chia seeds. And also, something else that's been requested is some salt. Okay, let us begin our exploration of sounds. So we'll start with some small containers. So during this video, I'm going to create some sounds for you. And also, um, quite a long time ago on one of my live events, I um, whispered into some glass containers and it created a, a unique sound so i wanted to bring that back into this video um if you don't like the talking i'm going to do a sound only video after this as well so um from memory if i just talk very gently into this you should be able to uh, pick up the different type of uh, sound effect that the glass jar is doing. So that's the type of an effect that I'll be working to play with throughout this video. Um, so these are just some of my um, coffee. I like this type of coffee. Um, also, you get to collect containers. So I might put like um, spices in here, um, like uh, seeds, cumin seeds, or uh, a few different types of um, spices, so they're very handy to collect, so I'm trying to collect like a collection of the same container. Uh, I feel like I'm getting old because uh, this is the type of thing that my mother used to do, and now I'm doing it. Alright, so let's listen to the sounds. So just the freeze-dried coffee just spinning around just inside the glass jar creates quite a good sound just by itself This is quite a good sound, I like this. Okay, so my objective was when I bought, I bought some chia seeds yesterday. I only bought a small amount just so I had a few because I don't have anything bulk at the moment. Um, but my plan was to put them into one of these containers but I got a feeling that there's too much but what the hell let's try as to not make too much mess let's see how we go I'm just going to slowly pour the chia seeds in. I think I'll just move it across a little bit just so I've got a little bit better angle over here. So chia seeds have quite a high nutritional content. You 
You can um, eat them, mix them in by themselves, put it into cereals. Um, what the one other thing you can do is you can mix chia seeds into water, and they kind of expand, and it turns a little bit into like a almost like a jelly or gelatin or something. And um, it's uh, another easy way to eat chia seeds. You could just put them into your bottle of water and you're drinking water and getting um, good nutrition from the seeds. I've been told that um, you could literally live off a small amount of chia seeds every day as long as you had water. Here we go, let's try something unique. I think we're going to be okay. See if we can fit them all in there. I'm just filling up the chia seeds in here, so I'm just going to let them drain out. Okay. Halfway there. So we'll just let the seeds just drain out. Okay, so what we're going to do is we don't want to fill it up just yet. I want to hear the sound that the seeds make inside the glass. So because they're such small seeds, they only make a little bit of sound.
right, let's get all these chia seeds into here. Okay, one container of chia seeds that are ready to be eaten. Um, so chia seeds is um, a food that I always try and have on hand and you only need a little bit of it to um, eat. Um, you don't want to eat too much of it at a time, we don't want to waste it. Okay, uh, I want to have a play with some of this salt. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the camera in a little bit closer. Okay. Okay, so I kind of imagined So I kind of imagine that So I wasn't quite sure what to do with the, the salt So I kind of imagined I'd put it on this and sort of play with it a little bit So this here is um, Himalayan sea salt. So um, generally salt and sodium is not good in your diet. You don't want to have too much uh, salt or sodium. But also you can't just cut it out. You need to have some type of uh, salt in your diet because uh, you need the, the salt in your body to be able to absorb uh, water. So um, Himalayan sea salt has a higher, higher mineral content in the salt. So if there was ever a such thing as a healthy salt, this would be it. Try putting something in my mouth. Tastes like salt. Tastes quite good. Mm, tastes quite good. So, yeah, it um, comes from the... I uh, don't know where, where it comes from. Dead Sea, Himalayas. I don't know. But it has a higher mineral content, so... If you're going to put salt onto food... This here is probably the best salt that you can put on there. You should avoid processed salts. This salt has some type of uh, mineral content in it. So it's about as healthy as you can go for salt. So I'll just have a little bit of a play around. That angle is not working. Let's just come back to our wider angle okay.
Who's gonna try and listen to the salt? Because of the texture of the salt, it's um, not too bad to work with. This is not good. So just count, that's two bits of salt I have to pick up off the floor. My other plan was to was to um, put some of the salt into one of these glass jars and see what type of sound it makes. Three bits of salt on the ground. I heard that one, I don't know where it went. Somewhere down there. So we can just slowly spin this glass jar around. And just the sound of the salt just moving inside the glass jar. It is almost like a gentle, relaxing sound of rain just falling on a tin roof. Almost.
Okay, so that was the um, salt in the glass jar. Quite liked that sound and I'm um, pretty happy about how it's all turning out. So the next thing we want to play with, coffee beans. So you'll have to let me know which um, sounds and objects that you like um, so I can bring them back into the video. So I'm sure that I'll be able to use these objects again. Should smell this. These are uh, very nice coffee beans. So these coffee beans come from a local um, shop that uh, makes some quite good coffee. Oh boy. So what we'll do is we'll use these coffee beans. So once I've finished um, playing with these coffee beans, I'll throw them out, similar with the salt, just for hygiene purposes. Okay, coffee tin closed. Alright, so I've been um, looking forward to playing with coffee beans. I've had um, quite a few people make the suggestion that coffee beans make a good sound. So, here we go. But, I have a more interesting question. What does it taste like to put one of these in your mouth? I'm expecting it to be bitter. I just can't resist. nothing. I'm guessing I have to bite into it or just suck on it for a while. Um, okay, so I have to agree. I do like the sound that they make. I guess it has something to do with the size and the texture and that they've already been roasted. Yeah, they definitely make a good sound. So please let me know if you like this so I can um, bring it back into a future video. So now I've got coffee beans readily available. I can um, put my hands on them at any time. So I bought these ones this morning. So I'm still sucking on that coffee bean. A little bit of flavours coming out of it.
So what we're going to do is just to finish off the video is we're going to put the coffee beans into the glass jar and more salt on the ground. So that's four bits of salt and one coffee bean on the ground. Coffee bean in my mouth. It's starting to release like a, a slight buttery type flavour. So the uh, coffee beans, quite like the sound of the coffee beans, I'm definitely going to have to explore the type of sounds that they can possibly create in different objects. So I'll have to agree with everyone's um, uh, suggestions and requests to use coffee beans. Thank you very much. Um, your suggestions help me uh, greatly to create some of the videos that I create so sometimes when you suggest um, a video idea it's kind of like the spark that ignites um, my uh, ideas and creation to help create some um, good videos So, um, I promised that I would uh, do some whispering into the glass jars, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do it in this video, so I'll do another video, and I'll focus just on whispering in the glass jars. So, also, I'll do a video using these same objects, um, with no voice, just the sounds by themselves, so I'll continue to try and do as many videos as I can with no talking just for the people that like to listen to them in the background or they don't like the voice
Okay, thank you very much. And um, please stay tuned for the next video, which will be no talking, and the video after that, which will be whispering into glass jars. Thank you very much.